The Wofford men's basketball team just about a month away, if you can believe it or not, from game number one of the 2022-23 season. I'm Jim Noble, along with head coach Jay McCauley. That opener will creep up on you faster than you can imagine, but you guys have been hard at work, really, Jay, since the summertime, getting some new faces in, getting everybody assimilated. How, how's it been going so far? It's been great, Jim. It's, it's awesome to be here with you and kicking off a new season here uh, pretty soon. But to have the whole summer with this team, lots of new faces, lots of new freshmen, we've needed every second to kind of get acclimated with each other, the system, and just get familiar with one another. And I've been really proud of this group and how they've adapted to that. Change can be scary, change can be exciting. Where are you on the scary, exciting scale right now? <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, everyone's dealing with this a little bit throughout the country. And, you know, I think it says a lot about the tradition and the repetition of our program, of who we've attracted here to kind of recharge this group a little bit with the pieces and the personnel we've had to replace and the talent we brought in. I'm really encouraged by that. And now it's just putting those pieces together. We'll talk a lot in the weeks to come about the, the, the newer faces on the roster, but man, your nucleus, if we can keep them healthy, BJ Mack, Messiah Jones, Corey Tripp, and some of the other returnees, that is the, a foundation for a team that can really do something. It is. Our front court, I think, you know, I would argue it's one of the best in our conference, if not in the country, just in terms of the experience, the size, the skill. To get Messiah Jones healthy again is obviously going to be a huge shot in the arm. And to add a, a body like Kyler, uh, who's coming in with a few years of experience and able to do things inside that we're going to need for depth reasons, um, it's encouraging for us. So the, the trick is going to be surrounding them with an inexperienced backcourt, you know, and they know that and every day we're working towards improving and getting to know those guys. Finally, as you look at the Southern Conference, it's, it's never a cakewalk at, at this place. Furman's going to get a lot of first place votes. They have a lot of returning talent. The transfer portal has changed a lot of year to year things in the conference. Any earlier thoughts on, on what a dogfight this conference is going to be? Yeah, it seems like we're asked this every year, right? The last five, six years, especially in our conference. And it, everyone thinks there's going to be a little dip, but it really doesn't change. It's been getting stronger and stronger. That's a testament to our, you know, conference, the teams, the personnel, the coaches. It's, it's a really tough conference, and I think it's anyone's race here uh, as we kick off. Cannot wait. The opener, November 7th against Bob Jones University right here at beautiful Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium. Have a great remaining month of practice. We'll see you then. See you then.